Hey guys, I want to revisit that uh, borescope now that the engine is a little cooler. I don't know. Uh, I know that I'm losing compressors on the cylinder. Yes, I do. But I'm also hearing exhaust. And looking at that crack, what it seems to be a cracked uh, cylinder head, it just uh, it doesn't please me too much yet. So. I want to make sure that I'm giving this person the correct diagnostics and that's what he's here for. So I've taken my time to think and um, do the right thing. I will relocate you guys in a second. Let me just, uh, actually, let me put you as closest together or closer. You can see that video. Got an annoying glare in there. How about right there? Jesus. All right, we'll see. I will be recording that on the Let's record this. Oh, that was actually a picture. <laughs> One only thing I don't like about uh, using it with the with the hotel is that I cannot adjust the brightness of the light. Now the piston is all the way to the bottom. Hopefully we can see that there. That's just because of the screwdriver. I was using those marks in there. And I want to see a little more of the cylinder. Or its walls. We do have a scratch in here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, yeah, let's record that. Mm -hmm. I don't like that either too. Very repeated. What is all that? Right at the top of the cylinder. That's almost, you know, right at the, uh, sorry for that, right at the part where the cylinder uh, in a Cylinder head get together. Trying to find a spot. Sometimes it's a little hard to do. See the coloration on the valve right there? Let me go back a little bit. Let's see that dust surface in there. The quality of the image is not the best for me to really call it. But I'm, I'm thinking that this cylinder head is cracked. Right between the exhaust packets or valve, sorry. Just going around for the intake. Lots of oil in there. I mean, this definitely needs an induction service, no doubt about it. That's kind of funny, you know, because he said he's been driving it for six months like this. 
and he just put that head on. I just don't like that. Uh, hopefully we can see that there. Is that a crack or not? This is definitely the intake valves. You can see the injector in there. Let me move the angle of the camera so we can see that that's the injector right there. So these are our intake valves and now we got intake open. It's so hard when you don't do the repair, right? Trusting somebody else's repair. It's hard to say, but just see this line right here. It's kind of like almost across, and there is another one in here. And then looking at this sign of different temperature on the valve, I mean, it's really noticeable. Let's go over to cylinder two. I don't like that pitted areas on, on the cylinder either. Let me flip the camera over. Let's see the cylinder walls. Again, the mark, I don't like those, those marks in this, this. Hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. I'm recording this, so I don't know exactly what the quality will be of the of the image. I mean, look at this. We got a lot of oil in here too, as well. I will think that that is. Uh, let me see. That's in this in the exhaust area. It's not on the intake. Why is the exhaust so wet? And that can be raised in our compression in this, in this cylinder too. I mean, that's definitely oil. And that might, I think it's the bar cover. No, I think this is a false alarm. I think it's coming from the it's part plug hole. I think this bar cover seal on the cylinder is leaking in there. Yeah, that's what that oil is coming from. So disregard that. That oil is not there for inside the cylinder because it looks too clean. And we can see that the exhaust uh, phase right here of the valve is dry still. I mean, it's sipping now there, but not because of the cylinder itself. But um, look at the valves. The color of the valve is even outside both sides. I mean, you're definitely going to have a mark, a burning mark, right where the spark plug is. I just don't like too much what I'm seeing on cylinder three. Let me clean the camera. Let's look at the piston now. Look at the piston in number two. Yeah, it's definitely less carbon, less carbon eyes. He probably did a cleanup on here. Yeah, if we see number three, let's strain up the camera. Yeah, 
got a lot of more oil in there so yeah definitely those those rim rings are letting oil going through no doubt about it and that's what we got that comp uh, crankcase pressure going down I uh, just think that we have two different or two separate situations in here I think that we might have a crack head I don't like those marks again it's really hard to say with the uh, camera quality but I'm almost seeing a crack in here and a crack in here and that will create you know a compression leak and most likely those valves are not sealing either let me see if I can open the valves just a switch without destroying my camera <laughs> That's the valve, intake valve closing, piston coming up. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> so let's go the other way. Yeah, let's hit in the camera. And I don't want to break it. Just trying to see if I can get the exhaust valves a little open for us to see more in there. Yeah, I think that's perfect. See now we got a lot of better image. Yes, that is a perfect, perfect capture. Sorry for all that shakiness. Uh, where are we? Went too much. Yeah. So I hope you guys can see that. I mean, I don't like those lines in there. That should not be there. Especially a, a head that was just worked six months ago. That is either a valve that is not selling correctly or we got a crack head. Crack valve seats. Something is going on in here. These valves are really pitted. Um, I'm calling also exhaust valves in here. I'm sorry. But that is my final call. I think uh, we have an issue with this uh, cylinder head, no doubt about it. Um, let me turn this off. Hey guys, just to confirm that this is definitely a mechanical issue. I mean, he has a lot of problems on the engine and this is probably the bad thing to do is just to get another engine. Uh, not just the knocking that you can hear on the bottom end. It's also, like I said, problems on valves, which was really weird uh, changing, you know. So I said, you know what, let me just take this back cover. It's not really that hard to do. I mean, he's coming from far away and I mean, look at this. Let me take that light out. Actually, it's not really good for the video, but I mean, this is this camp. The, the intake camp is destroyed. The exhaust camp is all really pitted, and I was inspecting this uh, Botronic uh, eccentric shaft act system, and these rollers are missing some of the pins that goes inside. It's like a, a needle pin bearing inside, and it's just destroyed, and. Um, I mean, I can see it and I can move it this like sideways. Just the way when I took it out, I just move it out and I strain it out. But hopefully you can see this when I was leaning in is because the bearings are just completely destroyed. And you can see how it's rubbing. I mean, look at this one right here. That is heavy as carved. So yeah, the whole Voltronic system is destroyed. So that's why, I mean, again, this is just a closure. He definitely needs an engine. It's nothing, nothing really that that would make sense to spend on this engine. Uh, it's just too much. The, it has to be done. That will be very expensive. You can find a used engine for cheaper. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. And this is the closure of the video. Kind of like a, a very heavy diagnostic I did. 
a bunch of different tests. I will edit some of them to give you the right information because again, when you attack something like this, you just follow your uh, common way of diagnosis and sometimes they're not necessary. I will show if it's actually um, correct information, but sometimes at the same time, you're thinking yourself, okay, as it goes, right? So because just to not make this long, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, as you can see, it's definitely nothing we can do. I'll see you next time. You have a, have a great day. Bye-bye.